Well, I started flying uh, virtually 40 years ago in the Navy. Flew off several aircraft carriers, flew the F-4 Phantom, capable of going Mach 2, and after 10 years of that, left the Navy, went into working for the, the airlines, and in the next 29 years, I flew virtually every airliner out there from the, the DC-10 to the 777, 737s, DC-9s, and all over the world. You've become a computer programmer in the airline business, certainly, where all you're really doing is pushing buttons to make the airplane go. So you don't get to fly the airplane a lot unless you demand some time doing it. And it's not the same as one of these anyway, because it's you just don't have the feedback and the feel of the stick and the rudder and what the airplane's doing. My other airplane is a Cessna 185 Skywagon, and I realize how much more I see in this airplane with the big windows on your sides, above you. It's really amazing how much more visibility I have. The Skywagon is a high performance airplane. This doubles the performance of it almost. The integration of the flight control system just feels superior to a lot of airplanes I've flown. It's just so smooth to make turns, to do things. That you just feel like you could do anything in this airplane so safely. The Stoll airplane that this is, I mean, I could fly just like a helicopter virtually because of its light sport capability, the fact that I don't have to deal with medicals. Yeah, my major goal in this airplane is to take it into the backcountry, to go camp out in it, be able to go places and just stop places nobody else can. You own a carbon cub and you sit here with a hangar open uh, to a T. Everybody's always very impressed with the workmanship and the quality of what's been done on this airplane. Cubcraft has been great to work with. I mean, they're very responsive. They've got all the parts there right on hand that you need to, to work with the airplane. I can see me flying this for a lot of years and, and enjoying it and feeling very safe and comfortable doing that.